Hello there, this is Marcielle from Armadale, New South Wales, and this is my answer for this week, week number two, my reflection on the information we've been looking at. I've titled my blog, Connecting Students to Their Own Music for Life. What stands out for me is that this module is highlighting the urgency to try new things to reach our students with music education for life. From an early age, if we can give students the freedom to get engaged with music, then we could later in high school build on what they know, according to Richard Gill in the video counterpoint. The take home message for me is that in the primary school, we can get music engagement with students through a variety of music by using singing, which is affordable. And it can be vocally based with a range of styles such as folk, world music, pop and classical. My own primary school experience, this happened with the Sing 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 radio program on the ABC and it gave me a wide range of music to learn including folk, uh, popular music and world music which I still use to this day. It still resonates with me until this day. For further reading you could look at the 2011 TED talk that talks about the value of music education that Richard Gill further discusses uh, in the issues of igniting the imagination of our students through music and getting students to make their own music. Um, I like the comment that Richard Gill made for high school, don't teach notation at the expense of teaching the enjoyment of music that resonated with me and I'd go one step further to include movement and sign language uh, in that mix for students to use as expression to get students to learn to sing like they really mean it and to use movement because Dr. Tal Shafir makes a critical link between movement and happiness in her video and it's in the resources of my blog there this is more likely to happen though if we take into consideration what the students like and use it as a way of reaching out to students through their own music. Student focus, a, a constructivist approach. Uh, for high school, the key points made by Professor Lucy Green in the recommended readings section, uh, her video gave wonderful insight into the ways that musicians learn it highlighted to me that the use of technology can make this possible to achieve, particularly the five points that she makes, because it's something that students can take with them for life, similar to how we're doing this in this course through blogs, website and opportunities to fit the study into our busy lives. By using ICT, we can take Lucy Green's ideas to engage students to use their spare time to learn music like the musicians do, for example, choosing their own music, playing by ear, attempting to copy it, to work on their own and with friends, this is all possible online, uh, to work idiosyncratically, to integrate listening and performing. So to sum up, the issues in this module have made me see the enormous benefits that using ICT to better support students in the limited curriculum time that we have and how this can be balanced using the suggestions with the experts uh, that people like Richard Gills and Lucy Green and Tal Shafir's comments are making. Enjoy the rest of your course. Cheers. This is Marcielle from the Northern Tablelands saying hi. Enjoy. Cheers.